Hello everyone, I am Vikram Aditya from JSoft Tech. In this video, uh, we are going to create our own standard class. So before doing the standard class, uh, we would uh, let's discuss what exactly we would like to do it in this uh, video. Uh, basically, we already have a standard uh, uh, class that is a, a class which we have actually created in the local uh, local program that is a class counter definition and then we have the public section and we have the private section we have three methods here which has been implemented here and uh, we have a uh, we have the implementation for this me three methods and we have declared one particular attribute called uh, count and uh, the the properties of that is an integer and then we have the data number type i value 5 data cnt type ref to counter then startup selection we have create object cnt here the cnt uh, stands as an uh, as a object type ref to the class and then we have the call method cnt set exporting set underscore value is equals to number do three times call method cnt increment call method cnt get importing get underscore value number so write number so this is what actually we have this program we would like to do it exactly the same way but we would like to create from here whatever we have this is a standard program and this is a program that we have in instituted which we are going to do it in the same way but our main intention is to build this class in the class builder in ac24 which is a global class which can be further used in multiple number of programs so let's proceed for that and uh, go ahead into ac24 transaction and in this i'd, I'd go for something like zj soft tech one and uh, create uh, i would like to go for class interface we are going to do it later sessions so okay so then i'll click on local object and here uh, we do have these methods so attributes we have only one attribute let us see the, the the program in which we have actually done that so we have just one attribute called count so let's take this count as an attribute here then we have this instance attribute and the visibility is uh, private because we have mentioned it in the private and here we'll take this as int underscore 5 that's data element which has already been predefined and if at all if you take just i it, it throws an error so we have to give some data element name that we have given it as int underscore 5 so in the methods we'll call upon all these methods we'll declare these methods which we have here set increment and get so let us let us let us uh, mention those the visibility section is instance method the, the level is instance and the visibility is public this is set method then we have increment uh, this is also an instance method and then we have this as uh, public as well this public Increment method, then we have get instance method public get method. So these are the these are the things that we have here, and uh, let's go ahead with attributes uh, methods. And in the methods for set, we have a parameter here. Uh, we have uh, the parameter for set is uh, set underscore value so we would like to declare that parameter so how do we declare this is uh, keep the cousin and set and click on the parameters and then we have this uh, set underscore value and the type for this is importing and the associated type is int underscore 5 and then save it and come back then we have increment uh, increment uh, will write the code in that later so we are basically for setting up the parameters so get parameters and in this we have the uh, the exporting parameters get underscore value so we'll give that get underscore value here and then we have this as exporting parameter and then we have this as int underscore 5 once we have it save it and uh, then we would like to go for go back Uh, set double click on set and here we would like to write the code here whatever code we have in that 
uh, standard class. So we have just one line of code here. Count is equal to set underscore value. Save it and back. Then double click on increment. Then we have here add one to count. Save it and back. Double click on get. Now here we have get underscore value. Save and back. Now we have done. We are done with the attribute declaration. We are done with the methods declaration with parameters, and we are also done with the implementation part of it. So even if you double click on it, you will go to this part, or you can also click on this implementation. You will get to uh, know the global declaration. If you want to have, you can have it there. So here, this entire class is done, and now we have to activate this class. Save and activate. So you need to activate all these things together. So once this is active, implemented and active, you can make use of this class now. So let's make use of this class and create this program. So we have this program as a reference. So let me create another program here in which we have uh, using global parameters, using global class. Global Now here we would like to go for, we will be making use of only this part of the code is what we will write, we will not do any declaration in the class and here the only change I would like to do is int underscore 5 and then instead of going for type reference to as counter, we would give the reference as the standard class which we have created just now. Let's change change of tick one. So once we activate and execute this, you will get the exact same uh, output which we are actually getting from the normal class. So what we have done in this session is uh, basically we have uh, uh, made use of uh, uh, global class declaration concept and. Uh, and uh, done this class declaration and implementation whatever we have here is been actually done in the standard class that's that's the that's the main difference that we have other than that the rest of the program is same as what we do in the normal class so this is all about uh, creation of standard class and uh, we would be further di discussing about uh, uh, standard class standard class uh, implementation and uh, uh, you know a usage of a standard class or a global class into a program with a real time scenario uh, making use of select statements and all in the next session okay thanks for watching this video thank you